What's up guys? Welcome to another video. We are in here in the paint booth. This is the next day. Primer's all dried. That high build primer is crazy. It's almost like bed liner. So I'm not looking forward to sanding it. But you can see how it turned out. So here's what we are going to do. I'm going to start uh, putting guide coat down and block sanding. I just, I, I'm ready to get this done with and just move through it. So I'm going to try and do as much sanding as I can today. Um, and then uh, we'll make sure all the body work is nice and good and then we'll seal it after that. So we are getting super close. I'm going to go buy the paint probably this week. Hopefully we have the paint on in, in this week or next week. So. Here we go, let's do it. So let me just show you a good example of this guide coat. So I, you saw me just sand here and you can see those two spots are just a little bit low. Now I'm going to keep sanding there because that uh, high build primer is pretty thick. If I can keep sanding and these go away without getting to bare metal, that's fine. Okay, That means we've leveled it out. But if I get to bare metal and these are still here, we need to fill those. So that's kind of the general rule of how you do it. Okay? And there were, you know, there's one here, one here, one up here. There's one, where was it? I marked it right in here. There's one. So just kind of a, an easy way to figure out where you need to still do body filler or if you can sand it all the way down and level that out. So, all right, let's keep going.
guide coat, but there are no dents on this side of the hood, so I'm okay with that. And with this high build primer, you almost don't even need the guide coat because the low spots stay kind of rough textured, so it's almost its own guide coat, so it's kind of nice. So, almost done. All right, the last part we have left, well, I gotta do the rockers and then uh, the roof. So, and the roof I'm not gonna guide coat either because like I said, it was already primed, had all its body work done already. So honestly, I wish I wouldn't have sprayed high build up there. Uh, it's just more work for me. So uh, live and learn. I'm gonna do a video after this thing's all painted about the things I learned and wish I would have done differently. And that's gonna be one of them, so. I'm going to sand the roof now, so then we'll be done block sanding and we can do a little more body work. block sanded. Um, I didn't I was not looking forward to this part so I just told myself I'm just gonna hammer it out and I just came out here and just did, did all of it so um, anyways here's the plan from here this will still be in the same video because probably all this sanding is gonna be time-lapsed but um, I'm gonna go tomorrow in the morning and get some more primer so we can seal it I'm gonna get some glaze coat because I don't think Filler, I think the filler is overkill for what we have left for body work on this. So I'm going to get some glaze coat and then I'm going to order the paint tomorrow as well. So that's pretty exciting. Um, what I'm going to do today, I won't show you guys this, but I'm going to, you know, I had to sand this thing in my paint booth and that's not ideal. So what I'm going to do is get my shop back. I've got a brand new filter and I'm going to vacuum up as much as I can uh, before I go around on the truck and spray off all the extra dust um, just because I want to keep the dust to a minimum so anyways I'm gonna do that we'll get some more supplies tomorrow actually tomorrow and the next day I'm gonna take a couple days off of the truck I'm gonna go golfing with a buddy tomorrow and the next day so we'll be back to working on this later this week but like I said it'll be the same video so we'll see you guys when we when I'm back all right guys, we are back out here in the garage with the crew cab. So, um, what we're gonna do today is some body work, kind of fill in any of the low spots, and then I'm also gonna fill in these spots on the bed where we plug welded those holes, uh, get those ready to be primed again. So, um, on most of the body work we've done, we we've used body filler. Um, I got a different product to use on a lot of these spots because they're not very bad at all. They're just slightly, slightly low. So let me show you what I got. This is a kind of glaze putty from u -Pole. So I'll probably still use the uh, body filler on those spots on the bed and then pretty much everything else I'm just going to use glazing putty which is more fine tuning than than the body filler. I think the body filler is overkill. So also I went and chose the paint, got it all ordered. Basically I just have to go pick it up when I'm ready to paint. So that should be coming within the next week. So just got to find the perfect day to do it. Uh, we're going to get, once we have all the body work done, um, basically we're going to seal it and paint it in the same day. So uh, this is the only thing holding us back. Um, so we got to get the cab ready, we've got to finish the bed, and then we don't want to forget that we still have the tailgate. So we got to take that panel off, kind of sand that down, and then we have um, the cowl piece and then the lower valance piece as well. So we need to sand all three of those down as well, get them ready to be primed and 
so we can paint those at the same time. So a uh, lot of little things we got to keep track of, but anyways, we're still making progress um, and we should be ready to paint here in the next week or two. So let's get started on some body work. So off camera, I came through and uh, kind of vacuumed all the big dust deposits off and then went through with a rag and wiped everything else off. Um, so it's cleaned off really well of the dust so far. I feel like I still have a little bit of sanding to do. Um, you know, I only blocked it at 220, so I think my plan is to do the body filler um, or the glaze putty, whichever I choose to do it in the certain spots, and then re-sand it all with 320 um, or 350 um, before we seal it. So that's the plan for now. So we're gonna just start knocking out all the little low spots and get this ready to go. All right guys, so I ended up not even using that uh, glaze putty because I was actually doing a little research and I think the glaze putty is more for like sanding scratches and pinholes and that's not really what this is. This is still true low spot. So I just did the uh, body filler and uh, I don't even know if I'll need to use the glaze putty. We'll see though, but just letting it kind of dry right now. Got this done. So, I think in the meantime, while that's drying, I'm going to set up some sawhorses outside and get the tailgate. We'll go start tearing that apart a little bit, start sanding off the, the valance and the cowl, so we can have those ready to go. So, let's go ahead and do that right now. So, let me show you this tailgate. Uh, it's pretty dang straight. There's, you know, like a dent here, and it's, you know, it's got a few dings around the edges, but it's fine. Like I said, I, I don't necessarily care that it's perfect so what we're going to do is take the le panel off which there's a bunch of uh torx screws all through here so i'll take those off and then i also am going to take this i don't know if it's aluminum or stainless steel or whatever i'm going to take that off that's riveted on so i'll just drill those rivets out um, and then we can sand that so I'm going to take that off actually right here, take the take this off while it's right here standing up because that's the easiest way to do it right now. And then we'll take it out onto the sawhorses. There we go, there's the LE panel. That thing's worth a good, I don't know, five, six hundred bucks. Just joking. Put it right on here on this piece of wood. So I'm gonna take these out, a couple rivets, and then we'll take this off and flip it over and start sanding it. All right, so here you can see the top edge of the tailgate. Again, it's not perfect. You know, you can see there's definitely little crease right there, but again, I'm totally fine with that. We'll get it as good as we can, but the, I mean, I don't even know if, how I could get in there and do any dent repair on that. And I'm not gonna fill it with Bondo because it's, you know, it's a tailgate, they get abused. You fill that with Bondo, first time you throw a rock on there or something, it's just going to crack it up. So we're just going to deal with it how it is. And, uh, you know, a straight tailgate is a lot of money, as you guys probably well know. So we're going to sand this down and then uh, take care of the other pieces and get these ready to prime as well. So here we go.
All right, guys, I have been sanding for probably the past two hours. It's coming really nice. I've got a few more spots that I'm going to have to do a little bit of filler. So I'm going to put some filler in those spots. And then I've got the tailgate out here on the uh, sawhorses. And I'm going to start sanding that while that filler dries. So. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright guys, we're losing light fast. Let me show you the view. Super, super nice out here, but I'm losing light to be filming. So I'm going to end this video right here. Um, got the tailgate mostly sanded. I don't have to sand the backside because I'm just going to do bed liner on that. So that's, that's nice. Um, so next video should be the last video before we lay down the paint. So next video, we're gonna make sure the body's completely straight. We're gonna do the cowl and the valance that's in the bed. Um, we're gonna get the paint booth all prepped perfectly for everything and just make sure everything's ready for paint. So uh, we should be laying paint within a week. So anyways, thanks for tuning in today, you guys. Um, a lot of work but again it's pretty rewarding to be doing this and uh you know to to know that i'm the one who did all that work and you know however it turns out i think it'll turn out pretty nice but um i hope this gives you guys the confidence or at least the motivation to do this on your project or get something done on your guys's project so thanks for your support comment below if you have any questions like the video if you haven't yet and we'll see you guys in the next video